And they put on a party too. It is always fun at Oktoberfest and obviously for Stone Crab Festival as well. I actually featured them yesterday and they have so many stone crabs. They were delicious. Anyways, let's talk about the weather because if you are heading out to either one of those, it's looking fantastic. We had the seasonal temperatures out there this morning, feeling great in the 60s. Those are gonna start to increase, obviously, as we head throughout the day. We're talking mid to upper 80s, and we're gonna be seeing lots of sunshine. Hardly even a cloud in the sky for many of us this morning, even into the afternoon. Over the next couple of days, though, we are gonna notice it's gonna get a little bit more warm, a little bit more humid as we head towards the end of the week into Halloween. But today, again, make those outdoor plans. If you're even just walking around the neighborhood, heading out to Cape Coral for the for, uh, farmer's market this morning, looking good. Temperature's gonna be climbing through the 70s with that sunshine. Getting into the low 80s by lunchtime, looking like a great beach and boating day as well. Wind's gonna be coming out of the northeast, five, 10 miles per hour. Could be seeing those gusts upwards of 15, but gonna help us cool down a little bit. Wave heights out in the Gulf, one foot, light chop on the inland waters, so looking really nice on the water. Still make sure you are wearing that sunscreen though. Even if you're gonna be out and about this afternoon, depending on what you're doing, there's so much to do across Southwest Florida. Even if if you're just going to be heading out into the backyard looking good. Many of us on the drier side, I have a 10% chance of rain today. That's going to be our far inland communities. We're talking a quick sprinkle near Lake O possibly later on this afternoon. But again, it's going to be mainly sunny pretty much everywhere you look this afternoon with those temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Light little breeze like we were talking about helping us cool down with those winds out of the northeast feeling really, really nice. And if you are going to be heading out to the pumpkin patch today, I'm getting mine today because I didn't want it to basically melt out there in the sun. And yeah, it's looking really nice. If you're gonna go to any of those corn mazes, what have you, the pattern here is it's going to be lovely today and that's gonna continue into tomorrow as well. So tonight, another pleasant night. Temperature is going to be dropping through the 70s, eventually waking up into the mid to upper 60s once again tomorrow morning. So that's gonna be open your window weather, have your coffee out on the lanai, even this morning feeling really nice as well. Today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, looking good. Just that 10% chance of any rain, just a quick little sprinkle. Our next best chance for rain is going to be midweek but you can still see a very low chance, only a 20% chance there. So a quick little sprinkle as we head into the afternoons next week towards the end of the week. But you can see here in our future cast rainfall in the next five days, just a quick little sprinkle. We're talking maybe a 10th of an inch, but that's gonna be focused towards the East Coast because we have that Northeast wind bringing a little bit of that moisture on shore. But here we go in our next seven day forecast. You can totally tell that rainy season is out, dry season is in. Basically that copy and paste forecast, all of that sunshine over the next few days, seasonable temperatures. And we do have that 20% chance as we head into midweek, bumping it up a little bit more on Friday, 30%, but still on the lower end. Just